Alright, Zenimax, it's time to talk again. Another rant. I don't like doing these rants, but damn it, this is bad. I have almost quit playing ESO because of this. Every time I log in, I get major, major FPS drops. And this has been going on for about a week now. Now, in the corner there, you can see that it's going anywhere from 90 to like 40. Now, it's it's been a little bit better since I updated my add-ons, but man, I cannot go into Cyrodiil. I can't do anything in Cyrodiil anymore <clears throat> without lagging. This is ridiculous, and it's not my internet. It's not my computer. I play For Honor just fine on Ultra, on stream, no problems there. But damn it, dude. Okay, so the big issue I think that's coming here is that Zenimax keeps releasing patch after patch, and they don't fix the already existing fucking problems. Now, what is the issue with that? The more content that comes into this game, the more the world has to render, right? Now, because of that, the already existing issues in this game are just getting worse. Now, there's also new bugs that came with the new patch. Not to mention, you know, there was a lot of add-on issues, but that happens all the time with every game. Now, I've had issues in Cyrodiil where I can't fix, or I can't press my potions. I've had it to where my ultimates don't go off if I sit there and spam it. There's been uh, invisible players and I've seen that just a couple days ago. I don't think they've even addressed that yet. They are not addressing issues after they put a patch out and it is ridiculous. Now, why am I going to look forward to another future patch if they can't fix the issues that are already in game? They just keep pushing out content, expecting us to buy stuff from their godforsaken fucking crown store and then they don't fix anything with the game. I have friends that log into this game and they're just like, nope, fuck this, I'm out. Fuck this shit, it's too laggy, I can't do anything. And these are people with good computers that used to be able to play the game just fine until they added these content patches. Now, right now, the game is running decently stable. If I go into Cyrodiil, like IC or something, everything's gonna turn to shit. Because that's how Cyrodiil is right now. No one can deny that Cyrodiil is an absolute cesspool for fucking high ping. Right now, there are many people complaining about invisible players, about the potion bug, and Zenimax just hasn't said anything. They haven't bothered to, you know, let us know if they're working on fixing this stuff. Cyrodiil before this patch was already god awful. And I'm sitting here, I'm trying to work on some build videos for you guys, right? And I can't go into Cyrodiil to get PvP footage. So. I can't put out these build videos without PvP footage because I feel like I'd be robbing you guys of showing you how the build actually works and performs. So I'm, you know, I'm down to just having to duel friends in order to give you guys some footage. And I think that's absolutely shitty. We don't really have a good PvP option in this game right now. Not to mention, when I do go in there and it does work, there's fucking Mag Knight Blades, or not Mag Knight Blades, Mag DKs everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere now. Um, I don't, I think that, you know, the buff to Coagulating Blood was fine, but they didn't really need to get a damage nerf on top, or a damage buff on top of it, because now they're absolutely slaughtering people. And, uh, it's not good. <laughs> the game's balance is not much better than it was, to be honest. Um, so I've got, you know, a hybrid Sork build that I'm trying to push out to you guys. I've got a new Nightblade build that I'm trying to push out to you guys. And I can't do it. I can't go into Cyrodiil to get PvP footage. So I might end up be stuck. I might be stuck uh, having to duel random people and get footage, you know, doing that. As opposed to going out and uh, fighting in Cyrodiil. Now, with this you know, Nightblade build, it's not a fucking dueling build, so I'm not even going to be able to duel for this one. I can do it for the hybrid sort, but that's about it. Uh, I'm just, I'm overly fed up with how Zenimax is handling their game, and how they're handling how they're pushing out DLC and then not fixing stuff, and I'm about this close, you can't see my fingers, but they're really close together. I'm about this close to just quitting ESO and playing another game. The only reason I haven't quit already is because you guys watch my guides and you keep me going and keep me wanting to play ESO and keep me wanting to help the community with stuff. And that's the only reason I play anymore. 
And to be honest, I think my channel would just completely die if I switched games, but I'm about to just say fuck it and completely rebuild my channel based on a different game that I actually enjoy. That being said, I'm still giving it a chance. I'm going to give it until Morrowind releases. If when Morrowind, Morrowind releases and I buy that game, they haven't fixed anything, and I spend, you know, whatever, $40, $60, however much it's going to cost me to buy that game, that expansion, and they still haven't fixed all these bugs, and everything is still as bad as it is, and the PvP is still unbalanced, I'm going to have to switch to something else. So I'm giving it until June. I'm going to keep playing, I'm going to keep making, you know, gold guides and farming guides and uh, PvP build videos. I might even have to do some PvE builds, like some beginner PvE builds, because I don't do a whole lot of PvE as it is. So I might end up having to resort to that. We'll just have to see. But as of right now, I'm fucking over Zenimax and their bullshit. Like, I called customer service yesterday, and you know what they, you know what they told me? They told me to they would transfer me to the customer service line and I can leave a message. And then they'll call me back whenever they feel like it. That's that's their service. And then they called back and I was streaming so I couldn't answer. And then they never tried again and I wasn't even going to bother calling back and leaving another message and going through that whole loop. So ugh, Zenimax, you really need to get your shit together. I'm excited for more when the content looks like it's going to be awesome, but I'm still not going to play it if this game is running like shit. And I can play, you know, the newest games just fine, but I can't play this fucking almost three-year-old game now. <clears throat> it's getting ridiculous. I, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Comment down below. Like, comment, share, all that good shit. Come check out my stream. Uh, right now I'm streaming a lot of For Honor because I obviously can't do shit in this game. So come hang out with me. I stream uh, about from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time during the week. And then on the weekends, it's kind of varied, but I'll be posting updates on my YouTube about when I'll be uh, streaming on the weekends. So thank you guys for all your support, and let me know what you guys think. Peace.